Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve another super interesting SQL problem that actually combines the concepts of SQL with the concepts of probability and stats. So the problem is based on real A-B testing data and we'll be calculating conversion rates and later on we'll be filtering users based on their variance performance. So let's move on to understand the problem statement over here. So the problem statement is you are given an A-B testing data set where each row represents a user's transaction whether they are shown a variant or whether they are converted or not. Just imagine that you are a data analyst at a tech company and you are running an A-B test. Each user is randomly shown variant A or variant B. For so these variants could, could be either different landing page design. So after seeing it, the user, uh, the user may or may not convert, meaning they might sign up or make a purchase. Now, what is what you need to do over here is that your task is to calculate the conversion rate for each variant and list users who had a higher probability of converting based on their variant compared to the overall average conversion rate. So here, you, what you have to do is you have to actually calculate the conversion rate of those users who have the higher probability of getting converted uh, as compared to the overall average conversion rate. So let's take a look at the input table that uh, input data that we have been given. So this is the input ta input table that we have that we have here. It contains three columns, user ID, variant and the converted. So what is the user ID? User ID is nothing but the unique identifier for the user. Variant is nothing but the version of the product the user saw. It could be A or it could be B. Next, the third column that we have is the converted. If the user got converted, one denotes yes. If the user did not go, did not get converted, zero denotes no. So that's all about the input uh, table, input data that we have. Now our goal is to return the list of users who are part of a variant that actually performed better than the overall average. So basically to actually get this a goal first of all what we'll be doing is we'll first calculate the overall average conversion rate across all the users next we'll calculate the conversion rate for each variant it could be uh, for variant a as well as for the variant b then at last we will simply return the list of users who are part of a variant that actually performed better than the overall average so let's take a look at the input table and the output table explanation so let's so let's now see how the output has been derived from this input table so first of all, first of all, that being said that what we'll be doing is so we'll be first calculating the overall conversion rate. And since to calculate the overall conversion rate, we have a formula that is the total conversions divided by the total number of users. Now, as from the input table, we can see that there are total users that eight users in total and the total conversions that have been made are five that that is actually done by the users one, three, five, six and seven. So basically the overall conversion rate would come out to be 5 divided by 8 which is the total conversions divided by total number of users and it will come out to be 0 0.625. Now what we have to do is we will first we will now calculate the conversion rate by each variant. So we, we so for the variant A so so since there are two variants available so let's calculate for the variant A first. So for the variant A we can see that the number of users are 1 2 3 and 4 out of which 1 and 3 are converted so there are two cut two conversions in total and the number of users are 4 so the conversion rate would come out to be 2 divided by 4 which which will be around 0 0.5 next let's calculate for the variant b again for the uh, now for the variant b we have the number of users as 5 6 7 8 and the converted users out of this are 5 6 and 7 and we can see there are three conversions out of four users so the conversion rate would be 3 divided by 4 and it, it would come out to be 0 0.75. And since in the question we were supposed to only display the details of those users that, that, have the, that have the higher conversion rate as compared to the average conversion rate and that, that's, for the, uh, that's for the users having variant B. So that's why in the output we are displaying only the details of the users having the variant B as well as their uh, conversion rate. Let's now discuss the problem solving approach to solve this problem. So first step towards solving the problem would be to understand what needs to be calculated. So here we, you, you need to ask yourself what, what do, what do you, we need to calculate overall? So overall we need to, we need to, we need to calculate first of all the overall conversion rate. Next we need to calculate the conversion rate per variant for each group uh, that, that is for the group A as well as for the group B. And next what do we need to return is that the users where variant rate is actually greater than the overall conversion rate that we just calculated in the very first step okay 
so that that's what needs to be calculated now the second step would be to write a query to calculate the overall conversion rates next in the third step we will simply calculate the conversion rate per variant in the in the next step in this in the fourth step we will save will save save the above queries as a cte we'll just make a cte and we'll save the above two queries that we just wrote that is first one to calculate the overall conversion rate and the second one to calculate the conversion rate per variant next we will simply join this join these two ctes with the main table and at last we'll simply uh, we'll simply add the filter logic where the variant conversion rate has to be greater than the overall conversion rate and that that's what we be, are going to display the details of only those users so that's how we are going to approach this problem so let's now move on to write the sql query in my sql workbench so as you can see my workbench interface over here you can see my input table a b test table has already been displayed over here so now i'll write a query so first of all our first step was to actually understand what needs to be calculated and we already know that so as we know we need to return the users having uh, users that have the greater variant rate as compared to the overall conversion rate okay so first of all to do that we'll write a query to calculate the overall conversion rate so to do that i'll simply write my query so i'll end the first query with the semicolon now just i i have started my uh, second query so here to select and it would be from my ab test table and what is that i want to retrieve over here is that i want to find the sum of converted converted divided by count because count star count star it would be why because uh our we had a formula that the total that the overall conversion rate would equal to be the total converted users so that is what we did sum of converted users divided by the total number of users so count star will actually give me the total number of users and as it is my overall conversion conversion rate okay so if i just run this query what i will get is so as you can see i've got my overall conversion rate as 0.6250 okay now now what what now the second step was to calculate the conversion rate per vari per variant so i'll write another query to actually calculate the conversion rate per variant so select from a b test now what do i need to what what columns uh, do i want to display over here is i want to display the variant as well as the variant conversion rate and the variant conversion rate would so for each variant so for each variant since we want to display for each variant so we will actually make use of the group by clause over here and we'll write group by group by variant so what it will do is it will it, we will group the table by variant to calculate the conversion rate within each group so and now i just want to find my variant conversion rate that is having the same formula that is nothing but the sum of this sum of converted divided by sum of one second sum of converted divided by count star as my variant variant conversion rate okay so that's going to be that's going to calculate the conversion rate for each variant so if i run this query as you can see here it has actually converted it has actually uh, actually calculated the variant conversion rate for each variant since we have done we have applied the group by clause on the variant now now what we want to do is we want to save these two queries uh, as cts now we'll store both the results using ct which is nothing but the temporary named results are so i'm just writing with i will just give the ct name as overall let's say overall and okay so this is one cte that i have just created overall as is what i am supposed to write now and this would be my another cte let's say i will give the name as variant 
rates okay variant rates as and this is going to be my another cte okay now 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 since i have created uh, now since as as you can see this i have actually saved these queries at ct now my next step was uh was to join these cts with the main table now what i will do is i will simply uh so now we just want to add both the variance conversion rate based on the user's variant and the overall rate which is same for every one so i am going to write my query that is select from from a b test a b test let's give this table name as a alias a and i want to do the inner join on the variant rate that is the cte that i just created and i will just give the alias as vr and i will do this in a join on the variant because variant is something that is common in both the tables so i'll be doing it on variant a dot variant is equal to vr dot variant and and for the for the another ct which is the overall i'll actually make use of the cross join in this case why cross join because overall is overall uh, the ct overall is having only the one row and we want to attach it to every each and every record that's why we will make use of cross join over here why cross join because it is having only single row which is nothing but uh, the overall conversion rate and since we want to attach it to every single record that's why i'm making use of the cross join over here so cross join over all oh, okay now whatever the column that i want to display i'll simply write over here so the first of all i want to display the user id which is from my a which is one second a b test table and then i want to display the variant from my a b test table itself third i want to display my variant conversion rate i'm just simply writing the columns that that uh, that was shown in my output user id variant then then there was variant conversion rate and there was overall conversion rate so here it's going to be variant conversion rate that we actually calculated from the variant from this uh, variant rate cte and next we had one more column which was o dot overall conversion rate which will come out from overall ct table sorry conversion sorry conversion rate okay so that's that's how i'm going to write my complete query now if i simply run this query now 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 so that's how i'm going to write now now there was one last step where i had to apply a where condition where condition that my variant conversion rate should be greater than the overall conversion rate that's what i want to display in my output that is i want to display the other details of only those users that have the variant conversion rate greater than the overall conversion rate so we are r dot variant conversion rate is greater than overall conversion rate okay now if i simply run the query what i will be getting now i as i run the query what i got is i've got my expected output so this shows that uh, it has only so uh, so this output is exactly the same as the expected output that we had it is only displaying the user details of the variant b uh, because the variant conversion rate of variant b is actually greater than the overall conversion rate that is 0.75 is greater than 0.6 so i'll quickly explain what we did first of all we'll actually calculated the overall conversion rate and we'll wrap that into a cte given the cte name is overall secondly we have created another cte to calculate the variant conversion rates for uh, conversion rates for each variant that's uh, that's again we have uh, wrapped into another cte next next what we did is we have simply joined uh, our main table with the with the above cts and for for the for the overall uh, cte we have made use of cross join because it had only one column and since we wanted 
and since since we wanted it to uh since we wanted it to attach it to every single record that's why we made use of the cross join at last we have added a filter logic to only return the users where variant conversion rate is greater than the overall conversion rate and that's how we have got our output so i hope you're clear with the explanation let me know in the comment section if you need any any further details or any any doubts that you have please let me know in the comment se section so that i can resolve your queries i hope you you understood you understood the solution let me know if you need more such videos more such tutorials so yeah thank you everyone for watching the video uh, do like do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such sql questions thank you